Get started. Welcome, Casey. So we are going to get started in a Hatha Vinyasa Asana class today. So for the next 45 minutes, let's do our best to be very mindful with our movements, with our breath, and our focus of our mind. So we can focus on, on many different areas. It could be on the breath itself, it could be on sensations of the body, or you may even choose to focus your mind on a mantra or even an affirmation. So uh, from a seated position, let's begin to close down the eyes, lifting up the tall with the crown tall, feel the elongating of the spine, and then just gently drop the chin down towards the chest, and feel some stretching or lengthening to the back of the neck. Just take a moment here to feel into the body, noticing any type of sensations, noticing if you're holding on to any tension. Just begin to bring awareness into those spaces. begin to redirect your attention onto your breath. Not looking to control it at this point, but just observing breath. Just noticing where the breath starts, where it ends, even noticing those pauses in between inhales and exhales. Just start off with a few rounds of our diaphragmatic breath to ensure that we are breathing with the diaphragm. Let's place one hand on the heart, one hand on to the abdomen. And as you inhale, really try to focus on expanding the belly into the bottom hand while keeping the upper hand still. Then as you exhale, just begin to relax the belly and lightly draw navel back into the spine. Inhaling, using the diaphragm to expand the abdomen forward, the side ribs while keeping the chest relaxed. Then exhale, allow the navel to draw back the spine. A few rounds here of this diaphragmatic breathing. way to a tabletop position facing the top edge of the mat, stacking the shoulders over the hands. And with the hips over the knees, we'll begin to move into our cat cows, beginning to warm up the spine. So with every inhale, focus on the chest pulling forward, the shoulder blades beginning to retract. And then as you exhale, grounding down into the hands, straightening through the arms, rounding the upper back, and drawing the tailbone underneath the hips. Inhaling, dipping the belly down, pulling chest forward, and exhaling back into the cat position, feeling the shoulder blades draw apart as you move through a few rounds here on your own. If you'd like to add in some free flowing movement to begin to work with the shoulders, working with the head, allow the hips to find their way any direction that's going to yield some sensation. And we're available throughout class. Just try to keep the eyes closed, keeping it more of this inward experience. From a neutral tabletop position, we'll start by turning the fingers towards the edges of the mat. Keep the hands active and shift the weight to the sides of the mat. So we're now targeting the wrist flexors, these muscles on the underside of the forearms.
create a little bit more sensation in those same muscles. We'll now turn the fingers back towards the knees. And now shift the weight forward and back a few times. Try to keep the arms engaged, the hands engaged. Now that you find a little more free flowing movement, you may like to add in some figure eight patterns. Semicircles can be a nice option here as well. I just take the hips back with the heels, side to side. Let's go ahead and now turn the hands over, palms facing up. And we'll start with the elbow creases looking forward. And then we'll shift the weight back and turn the elbow creases back into the body. We'll reshift forward, eyes of the elbows look forward, and shifting back, eyes of the elbows back into the body. So just continue with that forward and back action. We are now targeting the muscles on the top side of the forearms. Come back into a neutral tabletop position. With an inhale, reach the right arm forward, left leg back. Bend the left knee, reach around with the right hand, grabbing for the left ankle. And then as you begin to kick into the hand, try to level the hips off and stay strong, grounding down into the left arm. Very nice. We'll release, preparing for the other side. Inhaling, left arm, right leg extends. Then as you exhale, reach back, bending the right knee, grabbing for the right ankle, kicking, lifting the foot up, strong with the right arm. Release it back down from your tabletop position, tuck the toes under, and then allow your exhale to take you into your down dog. Hips begin to lift up, heels begin to press down, arms stay engaged. Really focus on the biceps spinning forward. Another breath or two from here. If you like to continue to stay in your static position, that's wonderful. If you like to maybe pedal the feet out one at a time, try to bring some more sensation to the back of the legs. Now let's go ahead and walk the feet to meet the hands at the top edge of the mat. Take your time to arrive. And then as you do arrive, bend the knees enough to bring the belly onto the thighs and just allow the upper body to become heavy. You just try to feel space being created all the way through the upper torso. You may even choose to grab opposite elbows from here and sway or even bounce it out. Keeping the breath flowing in and out of the nose. can begin to release the grip, hands off the elbows, keep the shoulders relaxed, the knees bent, chin comes onto the chest and slowly begin to roll all the way up into a standing position. Keep the spine flex as you arrive in your standing position. Very last piece that lifts is the chin off to the chest and then we'll allow the shoulders to come up towards the ears, draw them down the back, standing in your mountain pose, Tadasana. A moment here to just feel back into the body to bring your attention back onto the breath. And we'll begin to move through a few rounds of our classic Hatha Sun Salutations. So while starting off 
in your mountain pose. Palms forward, chest lifts. Inhaling and exhaling, hands come to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, eyes towards the hands. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhaling, stepping the right foot back into your lunge, grounding the right knee, holding the breath into your plank, left foot steps back. Exhaling, knees, chest, chin, elbows hug in. Inhaling, cobra, shoulder blades squeeze together, pelvis is grounded. Exhale, down dog, hips lift all the way up. Inhaling, right foot steps forward, low lunge, grounding the left knee. And then exhale, left foot meets the right into your forward fold. Inhale, arms lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, arms to the side. Inhaling, mountain pose, palms forward, glutes engaged. Exhaling, hands heart center, pressing the palms down. Inhale, lift the arms up, leaning back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, left foot steps back into your lunge, holding your breath, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, drop down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward, lunge. Exhale, right foot follows, forward fold. Inhale, arms lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, arms to the side. Inhaling, mountain. Exhaling, pranamanasana, heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, right foot back, lunge. Hold the breath, plank. Exhale, eight point pose, our knees, chest, chin. Inhale, Ujjhasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Inhaling, right foot forward. Exhaling, left follows into your fold. Inhale, arms lift all the way up overhead, engaging the glutes. Exhale, arms to the side, Samasthiti. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhaling, left foot steps back, lunge. Hold breath, plank. Exhale, eight point. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right follows. Inhale, just a halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana, eye gaze down. Belly draws in, crown forward. And exhale, fold. Keep the feet together. And then inhaling into your chair pose. So now as you reach the arms up, chest lifts and hands reach back. So focus here on squeezing the thighs together. Allow weight to begin to draw back to the heels. Pull the ribs in. Very nice. Feel the quads beginning to really activate in this position while maintaining that soft and subtle breath in and out of the nose. Inhaling, come all the way up into a standing position. Let the right hand grab the left wrist. Next inhale, lengthening higher, and then exhale, side body stretch, taking the arms off to the right. Try to minimize any kind of back bend here, focusing more on the lateral bend. Inhaling back to center, switching the grip. Big reach up, exhale, taking it off towards the left. Inhaling back to center, 
and exhaling, folding forward. This time in the fold, we'll come into our Padagustasana, so you can separate the feet hips distance, take a little bind of the big toes with the fingers, bend the knees enough initially to bring the belly onto the thighs, and now you can begin to contract the quads, working to lengthen through the back of the legs. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Now try to soften the muscles around the face. Three breaths here. And release. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Halfway lifting the torso. Exhale, fold. Now walk or step it back and coming your way into a plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Elbows bend, hug the elbows towards the midline. Inhale, up dog. Untucking the toes, coming onto the top of the feet. Lift the thighs, soften the shoulders away from the ears and exhaling back into your down dog. Two to three breaths here in your down dog, recalibrating diaphragmatic breath if it left your system and then refocusing the mind and maybe that means following breath or essentially just using affirmations or mantras inhale lift the right leg up exhale draw the knee into the chest or all the way into the nose shifting the shoulders over the hands Inhale, relift the right leg, and exhale, step it all the way through lunge. Inhaling, left hand stays planted, right hand lifts, coming into your lunge twist, Paravita Parsva Kanasana. They work on moving the left rib cage into the right thigh as the right shoulder draws back, keeping the left hip lifted. Yes. Inhale to stay. Exhale back into your lunge, dropping the right hand down. Inhale, pyramid pose. So begin to step the back foot in closer, straightening through the right leg. And then as you begin to now contract the right quad, we can begin to feel the stretch moving into the right hamstring. Inhale, halfway lift the torso, begin to create some extension through the spine, and exhale into a half moon. Go ahead and release your right hand down in front of the right foot, lean into the right leg, and we're gonna open up facing towards the left side of the mat. You can keep a little bend in the right knee that may help with the balance. You may even like to come onto the fingertips of the right hand. It gets you a little bit higher up, so you can now create more of a parallel position of the torso. Inhale, hold the pose. Exhale, warrior two. Landing the back left foot to the back of the mat. Beginning to bend into the right knee. Try to stack the knee over the foot as opposed to letting the knee move beyond the foot. Draw the ribs in, tailbone down. In a moment here to Maybe just take the opportunity to close down the eyes and try to feel more into this pose. Feel any kind of sensations of strength being created or overexertion where you can begin to soften. Inhale to reverse it, taking the right arm up, right bicep by the ear, keep bending into the right knee. Inhale to straighten through the right leg completely. And then exhale, coming into your trikonasana pose, triangle, reach the right arm forward. And then with the exhale, lower the right hand down. As you roll the left shoulder back, begin to engage now into the left loop. You wanna feel as though that 
Even though the right hand is dropping, the left hand is lifting. And really think about rotating the rib cage open. Take your eye gaze to follow the left hand. And then inhale, rise all the way back to stand. Exhale, bring your hands onto your hips. Inhale, let's turn to face the top edge of the mat. Stepping the left foot in closer, we are now going to set up for our Garudasana Eagle Pose. So as we are now facing the top edge of the mat, we'll inhale, reach the arms up, pull the left knee in. And then exhale, we'll take the left arm under and then wrap the left leg over, squeezing the thighs. Yes, you can keep the left toes to support this balancing position. But maybe you can begin to lift the foot off once you feel comfortable in the position. Kind of lift the elbows up and press the up, forearms forward. Inhaling to stay, and exhale, we'll bring you now into your warrior three. So we'll go ahead and kick the left leg back, lifting the leg up, chest comes forward, and then the hands can either stay at heart center for more of the support. If you need the additional support, the hands can always come down beneath the shoulders, but work on turning the left toes down. Yes, keep the hands down, that's wonderful. See if you can lift the left leg a little bit higher. And now maybe you can play with lifting the hands off the mat. Maybe it's just a fingertip onto the mat one at a time, challenging the balance, staying strong in the grounded right leg. Inhale to stay. Exhale, standing splits. So let's now begin to walk the hands in closer towards a grounded right leg and lift the left leg even higher. So try to Get the left leg as high as you possibly can here. If that means bending the right knee, bend the right knee, but stay very strong in the left leg. Inhale to stay. And exhale into a seated twist by landing the left knee right behind the right heel. Rounding the hips down. We'll bring the right hand near the lower back pressing down into the mat. The left arm will hug the right thigh in. We'll use another inhale to lift tall. And then the exhale, you can proceed to twist deeper. the position we'll just allow now to unwind letting the torso look off to the left and then from here we'll extend both legs forward and preparing to come into Navasana boat arms forward shoulder blades pull back into the spine now we'll go ahead and lift the legs off the mat you can keep the knees bent or straighten the legs if you prefer Cross up the ankles, roll over the knees, hands come down, and feet step back into your plank. Exhale into your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Taking three breaths here to process that first part of the sequence, coming right back to the diaphragmatic breathing, in and out of the nose. Inhaling left leg lifts, 
exhaling, knee into the nose. Think about engaging the hamstring to pull the heel in tighter. Inhale, relift the leg up. Exhale, step the foot all the way through lunge. Into your lunge twist, left hand now lifts, right hand stays planted. Keep the right hip, same line as the left hip. Inhale to hold, exhale lunge. Inhale pyramid, back foot steps in, left leg now begins to straighten, grounding down into both the front edge and also to the heel of the left foot. Inhaling to lift the torso off the left thigh, halfway lifting, and exhale, half moon. Release the left hand down roughly 12 inches in front of the left foot, maybe coming on the finger pads or fingertips. So now as you begin to open it up to the right, we can focus on the stacking of the hips and the shoulders. A lot of engagement coming into the glute medius as a way of keeping the right leg in abduction or moving away from the midline. Now as you're ready, we'll step it all the way back into your warrior two. Try to take a little bit of a bigger step here. Eye gaze, follow the left hand. In a moment here to close down the eyes. Now the alignment is on point. Inhaling, reversing it, taking the left arm up. Bicep moves towards the ear. Right hand can drop down the back leg, keeping a deep bend in the left knee. Inhale to straighten through the left leg all the way. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, let's reach the arms back out. Reaching the left arm a little bit further forward and then exhaling into your triangle pose. So up here, mid triangle pose. So the right knee now reaches up. Side of the foot. Maybe bring it onto the shin to stay a little more lifted so you're not collapsing. Inhale, rise back to stand. Exhale, hands to hips and square it off to face now the front of the mat. Inhaling, arms reach up, right knee pulls in, setting it for eagle. Exhale, right arm comes underneath, right leg wraps over. find balance and alignment, bring awareness back onto the breath. Inhale to stay. Exhale, beer drops into three, our warrior three. You can go ahead and kick the right leg back, release your hands down as the torso begins to shift forward. Either stay with the hands grounded, maybe you begin to get light onto the fingertips, and maybe even play with lifting one hand to heart center or both hands from the heart center. Inhale to hold. Exhale, fold in deeper into your standing splits. So now just Maybe bend into the left knee to help with the balance and see if you can lift the right leg even higher from here. Inhale, 
Inhale to stay. Exhale, seated twist. Try to drop the left hip down onto the mat. There we go. We'll go ahead and count on the twist. Torso can now look to the right side of the mat. And we'll now look back forward, take the legs forward, and we'll come into our wide-legged seated fold. So let the legs come just outside of the edges of the mat. Think about externally rotating at the hip bones. And as you begin to shift the weight forward, Keep the legs engaged and try to lead with the navel instead of the chest. Only going as low until you feel the upper body wanting to round and that's a good place for you to kind of ease off, find the mindful breathing and then maybe on subsequent exhales you can come down slightly lower. to roll the torso back up. We'll bring the legs back in front of us once again. And we'll come into this boat position just so we can now cross up the ankles, shift the weight forward, roll over the legs. Plans can, hands can plant, feet can step back, and now take it through a vinyasa or just arriving in your down dog. Inhaling into your plank pose, shifting it forward, and exhaling, drop the knees down into your tabletop. Walk the hands forward as we now come into a puppy pose. So as the hands walk forward, we're going to drop the chest down, keep the hips lifted. Maybe we start with the hips over the knees. Maybe we walk the hips in front of the knees, allowing the chest to come all the way down onto the floor. Focusing here and opening up to the chest, opening up to the shoulders. And let's slide all the way down onto your belly. Setting up now for Bhujangasana Cobra, walk your hands back to frame the chest, and then let the elbows hug against the rib cage. Begin to squeeze shoulder blades together, engage by anchoring the top of the feet and the hips down, and then begin to lift the upper, middle, and lower back, or lift the chest up by engaging the upper, middle, and lower back. You apply a little bit more pressure into the palms without straightening the arms, very nice. And release. Let's come back into a child's pose. Find your hips to your heels. Option of knees together or knees apart. Knees together will encourage more flexion in the lower lumbar and knees apart 
will allow for more of a stretch or opening into the hips. Down dog. We lift the hips up and back. And go ahead and walk your hands to meet the feet at the back of the mat. With an inhale breath, arms reach all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands, heart center. Setting up for our tree pose. You can bring the right knee in, grabbing for the right ankle, and either placing the foot above the knee on the inner thigh, on the calf, or maybe placing the foot so the big toe is actually touching the mat to help with the balance. Wherever you find the right foot, still think about grounding to the left foot to lift up and keeping engagement around the core. Feet release, arms reach up, exhale, Heart center, other side, left knee in, you can go ahead and grab for the left ankle and find placement. We're challenging the balance of the body while focusing our mind here. Feet release, arms re-reach, exhale, fold forward. This time we're coming into Pada Hastasana, and it's a foot pose, so we're gonna slide the palms underneath the feet, and almost like you're trying to take the toes to press onto the wrist creases. and release the hands from underneath the feet. Walk it back out into a down dog. Inhale, we'll lift the right leg. And exhale, step the foot outside the right hand into a lizard pose. Dropping the left knee, and then try to slide the left knee a little bit further back so the knee's behind the hips. There you go. Breathing into any resistance you may feel into the inner right hip. And we'll turn this into a quad stretch. So we'll keep the left hand now down onto the mat. We'll reach the right hand back, pull the left foot in, Inhale to stay, exhale back into your lunge. Inhale to your plank, exhale, go through your vinyasa, or meeting in your down dog. Inhale, lifting the left leg up, and then exhale into your lizard pose. Stepping the foot outside the left hand. Make sure we are still breathing through the nose. Trying to focus on utilizing the diaphragm to expand the belly. Quad stretch, right hand now plants, left hand reaches back, 
use the engagement of the right hamstring to encourage the foot pulling in, and now you can use the arm to pull the foot in. Try to shift more of the weight forward. Inhaling to hold, exhaling, left hand drops back down into your lunge. Inhaling into your plank. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. This is our last vinyasa. Inhale back into your plank, shifting forward. Exhale, drop the knees down into your tabletop. And so from here, we'll go ahead and just drop the left hip down, swing both legs out front into your Dandasana seated staff pose. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, we fold over the thighs, reaching for the feet, pulling, if you can, onto the edges of the feet. And now just notice how the breath may have a subtle slight change of where you may feel it. This compression of belly to thighs, you may actually feel the breath more towards the back region at this point. You can release the grip and slowly begin to lower all the way down onto your back. Set up for a legs up the wall pose. So just go ahead and allow the legs to come directly up over the hips, working to try to stack the feet on top of the hips. A moment here to just allow for blood flow to recirculate from the lower extremities, moving back towards the heart, allowing the heart to do less work. Beginning to create a calming effect into the mind. With an exhale, pull both knees into the body. Now begin to lower the left leg while keeping the right knee pulled in. In your next exhale, supine twist, guiding the knee across the body. the right leg down and then pull the left knee back towards the ribcage and allow the next exhale to guide the leg across. Very gently, while maintaining the eyes closed, find your way to your final Shavasana. Legs and arms can begin to take up space onto your mat. As you become fully relaxed and surrendering to this moment.
these next few moments to begin to arrive back into your seated position. Maintaining relaxation of the body and this inward focus. Thank you for sharing your practice, your energy. Namaste.